Hey what's up guys my name's Cubs and welcome to the first installment of Flavor Strainers. Since this is my first video I wanted to go over a couple of points. One. One. I'm not here to discuss rebuildables, what mod that I'm using. I'm here strictly for the juice. If you'd like to discuss that you're always welcome to hit me up on my Facebook which is located below. Number two. Two. All my juices get a fresh build. This way there's no lingering flavors from a previous juice that I was using. Number three. Three. I steep all of my flavors at least 10 days after I purchase them, either from a local brick and mortar or from uh, online. This way I get a chance to get the best flavors from everything that I order. Ura! So. That covers the basics. I'm sure I'm to go over more once I do the videos, but for now, it's a great start. So let's go ahead and move on to the first juice. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So for my first choice, I went with Majestic, their uh, Royal Guardsman. It's their take on Captain Crunchberry. It's pretty good. Uh, you get the, the corn from the breakfast cereal uh, and you get the undertones of the berries. However, it, you can't really vape this all day. I couldn't because after a little bit, it really starts to taste just like corn chips. Uh, I do find that it's, it's pretty good still. It's great if you're carrying with you a bunch of other flavors so you can go back to it occasionally but I wouldn't be able to do this as an all-day vape. Still, really good. My special crunch berry. Crunch berry, crunch berry. Such a fun bunch to eat. For my second juice, I chose E-Nectar, their Reese Cup. Now, I know this is a local brick and mortars version of Reese's Cup uh, from a shop down the road called Vapor World. It's a good flavor. Lots of peanut butter to the point where it almost dries out your mouth. It's if you were taking a spoonful of peanut butter. You do have the, the chocolate flavor in there too. It does taste really good. I could vape this all day uh, just because it does break up the monotony of just having fruit flavors all the time. I tend to vape a lot on fruit. Uh, it does produce nice clouds. The only drawback is there's a little bit too much throat hit for me. Like I said, it tends to, the peanut butter flavor tends to dry out my mouth already and then on top of the throat hit it makes it a little bit difficult to, to continually vape but overall not too bad mm, peanut butter mmm chocolate <laughs> you got peanut butter on my chocolate well you got chocolate in my peanut butter Now my last flavor I kind of cheated on, it's Crankberry by Fusion Vapor. I really like this one. With the clouds that it produces and the flavor, it's like vaping one of those blue raspberry blow pops. It's really, really good. So uh, I'll leave the links below where you can pick any of these up. Or if it's a local brick and mortar, name it a local brick and mortar and the address. Lastly, let's go ahead and rate all of these. Of course, Crankberry, I'm going to have to give it a 5. Like I said, the clouds on it and the flavor, overall, superb. Where is that? The Majestic, the first one that I did, uh, Majestic, I'm going to give it about a 3.5. It's good flavor, good smoke production, or vape production, sorry but uh, not something that I personally could vape all day just because of the change in the flavor. You lose those berry tones and you end up with corn chips. Three. And then the E-Nectar Reese Cup or Reese Cup uh, from the local brick and mortar Vapor World. 
really good. I'm actually going to give it about a four. Uh, I could definitely vape this all day, and it has great uh, vape production. One, two, three, four. So, like I said, all the links are below. Hit me up on Facebook anytime. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions. Have a great day.